Hello everybody, welcome to part four of my pre-decimal penny hunt. Um, we had roughly a thousand pennies to look through. The pile is still pretty big, but it is going down. Let's have a look at what we need. I've got my Whitman folders all laid out here. So let's go to the beginning and see what's missing. So starting at 1860, we haven't got that yet. And there's a few variants of the older coins. LCY and on reverse, and we've got here LCY and on reverse again. 1865 over 1863, lots of variants there. Uh, 65, we haven't got quite a few there. The 60s coming forward, right up to the uh, 1890s there. That's all full. Uh, back here. Edward the seventh. All we need is the 18, the 1909. I'll get to this some obverses. I'll get them in in this video. And then we've got the much scarcer ones of the 1918 with the H mint mark, the KN, and the 1919 with the KN mint mark. And I do not expect to get that. Uh, some obverses there of George the sixth. We'll get those in. The 1951 penny. Look at the mintage figure of that. No chance of finding that, but you never know. Uh, then we've got Elizabeth the second. We need the obverse, which is 1953, and we also need the 1953 for the reverse as well. So we need to find two of them, and they are quite scarce. Only, uh, where's the mintage figure for that? 1.3 million. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Okay, let's grab a handful and carry on. Start with a 1948, uh, 1901 Victoria there, 1939 is an old one, uh, 1887, uh, have we got an 1887? We have and I think it's in slightly better condition than this one. So I won't put that one in, that's a shiny 67 and an 1899. Edward VII there, 1907. We're looking for a 1909 to complete the Edward VII date run. Uh, 1934. There's a George V, 1931. 1948. George VI. We're looking for a 1951 George VI. No chance of getting that. 1908 there. 1920. Uh, what we got here, there's a 1912 and it looks like a mint mark. The most common of the mint marks, this one, on the 1900 coins. Not very good condition, it's a bit worn. But it's another mint mark, nevertheless. Okay, we have got a 1930 and 1886. Now we haven't got an 1886. That, looks, that six looks really big. And whether that's normal or not but we have a look over here and we can see 1886 with a mintage figure of just over six million and there is the first one of this video okay back we come uh, 1897 and we're looking for the dot between the o and the n a very scarce coin if we find one not that one though uh, 1929 on the Victoria here, 1896, 1909, oh, 1907, and 1931. Right, right, I'm going to start speeding this up a bit now. Lots to go. There we go. Oh, 1922. If you saw my last video, you'll know in the 1922 you need to look for the Trident. If the trident's not touching the bead, which this one is, I'm not touching one of the teeth around the edge there, then it's going to be very rare. But I'm afraid this is just a standard one. George V. On the George V there, a 1918, but no mint mark. No mint mark in the corner there. Oh, and there's another 1912 mint mark. An H mint mark. Let's have a look. What is the? Um, let me put that on the screen again. What the actual mintage figure for the uh, 1912 mint mark? 
Yeah, 16 million, 800,000, so nearly 17 million, so not scarce at all, that one, really. The bottom one is the one you want, the 1919 KN, only 683,000 there. Not too bad, though. And looks like another jersey one, yep. Yeah. This one's 1960. 1660 to 1960. That commemorates uh, 300 years since the accession, accession, I should say, of Charles II. Um, what we've got here then, 1936. It's like a 67, yep. Yeah. Another 1912, no mint mark. No mint mark on that one. 1896, 1939, 1913, 1898. See, I'm going to be rushing through these. Now I've got 1882. Yeah, we've got an 1882. Is that a mint mark though? That could be an H below that. Would you say between the eights at the bottom, a little H? I believe it is. I'm going to say it is. It certainly looks like it could be. Doesn't look like a plane. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Can't really tell. But let's put it in that place anyway. Actually, it's got to be a mint mark because, as we can see, they didn't make any 1882s without the mint mark. So they were all made in Heaton that year. I won't be uh, reading these out. I'm just going to be zooming through them. Quite unreadable. I'd just say that's a three on the end, so very likely 1883, which, uh, which we've got anyway. Better condition than that. Another jersey. Another 1957 jersey. And what's this one then? 18. It looks like 1892. Yeah. Oh, is it an eight? Is that an eight or a nine? I think it's a. I think it's a nine. Yeah. 1892. We've got those better condition one there. Now, 1926. There are a couple of versions of 1926 you need to look out for. There's the standard head and the modified head. Now, I won't go into it in this video, but up there, there is a video I made all about the 1926 penny, the modified head and the standard head, and the links below. So go and have a look at that, but not till after this video. Eighteen ninety nine. That's a very that's a nice condition. Eighteen ninety nine. Well, it looks like we found our. Oh, it's nice condition, isn't it? So it looks like we found our um, obverse. So let's go up here. Eighteen ninety nine obverse, and put that one in there. And that's what I'm going to try and do is put the best quality ones I can find as the obverses. Nineteen thirty and. Says 1931. There's an 1884. Uh, now we've got a very bad condition. 1884. Uh, so I'll swap that one. A bit better condition than that one. So we'll take that one out and replace it with that one. There's a 1918. No mint mark though. Bit of a damage there. There's an 1881. Now, has it got a mint mark or not? It would be at the bottom between the two eights. If it has, it's very difficult to see. 
as we haven't got either i'll assume there's no mint mark and hopes and get some better condition ones to tell the difference Nineteen oh two, nineteen oh six. So still looking for that nineteen oh nine to complete the Edward the Seventh. Nineteen thirty six, eighteen sixty two. And we've got eighteen sixty two, and I think it's probably a bit better than that one anyway. And an eighteen ninety five. A small gap between the Trident and the P. Not the one we're looking for. Eighteen ninety-two, getting plenty of those come through now. Oh, now we've got a got a hole in this one. I don't like to see holes drilled in coins. One of my pet hates. There it is. Eighteen ninety-nine, still a pretty common that one. Nineteen nineteen, is that a mint? Oh, is that a mint mark? No, it's not, is it? No. Thought it was for a moment, but no, it's not. Eighteen seventy. Well, there we go. There's a new one. Very, very worn, but definitely a new date. Just over five and a half million of that one, but it's a new one for the book. What the? Clear off. Uh, a very worn coin here. Can't really read that. Is it 18, it's 1860, is it? Something, 1868. I mean, these coins are pretty worthless in this condition, but it's still a challenge trying to see what the date is. 1868? Could that be 1868? I think it is. Or was it a five? Could be 1865 though, actually. I think it's too worn to actually put in the book because we're not, I can't be sure. Could be 1870 something. No, put that to one side. Uh, 1889, uh, yep, yeah, we've got that one, better condition, 1901, 17, 17. oh, there's a 1918, I think that's got a mint mark, it has, a very worn, but it has got an H mint mark on it, heated mint mark, and I don't think we've got, we've got an 18 with a mint mark. No, we haven't got that one. So another closer look at it. It's not not the best of condition, but it's an H mint mark. Nevertheless, it's going in there for now. There we go. Yeah, dirty coin. Oh, 1949. Right, 1949. Now we can have a look at the uh, couple of different obverses of George VI. Okay, 1949, we'll have a look at the obverse of that. Now we've got a 1940 here, so we'll have a look at the obverse of that as well. Now the one on the right says, George VI, uh, King of all the Britons, by the grace of God, and down here, FD, Ind Imp. That is um, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. And you see on the 1949 one, the FD's been extended to say, Fidi Def, and there's no Emperor of India, because he wasn't Emperor of India then. So there's just the two different obverses of uh, George VI coins. So there's the 1940, which is obverse number one, which is 1937 to 1948. And obviously obverse two is the 1949. There we go, got them two in now. Ah, 1865. Don't think we've got an 1865. No, we haven't yet. It's a bit sh like a sharpened bit there. Let me see that. But other than that, it's uh, not too bad. So let's get that in position. 
So here it says 1865 over 1863. So the date has been minted over the other one. And up here must be just the standard 1865, both types it says there. That's a mintage figure for both types. So anybody knows the individual minting figures for those, I'd like to know. Now this one's worn, but it doesn't look like 1863 has been minted over. It looks like an 1865. So we'll put it in here. There we go. Uh, 1884. I've got an 1884 and this one's got some scrape marks on it so I think the other one would be better than that. 1861. Uh, we've got better condition ones than that as well. Oh, 1948. That's nice for 1948. I'm definitely going to swap that one over. Uh, 1914. 1890, they're becoming quite common now. Uh, we've got a better condition one uh, than that in the book. And there's a very shiny 67, so what I'll do, I'll use that as the obverse. Now there's two different obverses for the uh, Queen Elizabeth penny, Queen Elizabeth II penny. There's this type 2, 1961 to 1967, which is this one we've got here. Let's put that in. And the other one is 1953. But as we haven't found a 1953 yet, I can't show you that one at the moment. If we don't find it in this hunt, I'll get one out of one of my other albums and show you the difference. Eighteen eighty nine is another one we've got, and we've got it in better condition. Well, there's a nice condition, nineteen thirty six. They do tend to be quite good condition, thirty sixes, but this one's a little bit better, so I'll be swapping that one over. Right down there, swap that in a minute. Oh, there's an Irish coin, 1942, with the uh, chicken and the chicks. Oh, there's a halfpenny. <laughs> That's got in there. Uh, I've got thousands of halfpennies to look through. I've got about 3,000 of them, so uh, I'll be doing a video on that sometime. I don't know when, but sometime. So that one, 1870 something or other. Is it a five? Can't really read what it is. Could be a five. If it's a five, we've got an 1875, so. When I say we, I'm not using the, the royal we, because they're indoors is here. Say hello, Sue. Nineteen sixty-five, I think. Again, that one. Just found one of those. Better condition than that. Nineteen oh nine. There we go. That's the one we need for Edward the Seventh. That's completed. Edward the Seventh. That's completed. Edward the Seventh. Lovely. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're getting there. We're filling up nicely, and the pile is definitely shrinking. One more video, I think, and finish this off. So this is video number four and I'll be finishing it off in video number five. Hopefully, uh, probably tomorrow night or Monday, one of those days. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you.